Let's start the project from the beginning. Uh, here I will open the first level and we will draw just several uh, structural walls. Okay. Now let's check it from 3D view. Here we can just add a door and uh, two windows. Okay, I just need to check the sill height. And just I will change the height of, of the opening. Okay. Now, um, what we will do next? Uh, one uh, wall actually will be will have rebars, but before that, I will disallow joints. Okay, and the same for this wall. Okay, now we can add um, area rebars. Let's select the wall. Uh, let's take area reinforcement. And we have to pick the boundaries. Okay, let's close those, those boundaries. Oh, that's it. And uh, now uh, we will add additional structural connections, uh, but here we will create new family. Uh, here we can select two categories, structural framings or structural connections, because those two categories are supported. Uh, but here I will take uh, uh, generic models template that is phase based. Phase base is very important and it's mandatory for uh, such connections. Now let's create a very simple solid. Okay, uh, let's finish the solid and uh, now let's change extension n value okay so that's it we have created very simple structural connection and now let's go to family category and parameters as i said before the category has to be structural connection and material of behavior should be steel or concrete so that's when that the conditions uh, for phase based uh, hosted elements Let's save this family. And now we have to load this to the project. So that's it. We just need to add those connections to the places we want. And two more here. So that's it. Our project is prepared for working with smart assemblies.